YouTube, it's MetaGrossFreak, and um, welcome back. Today, um, you know, it's December 21st, it's only a couple days before the holidays, but, you know, it's going to be also the supposed end of the world, so to celebrate, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to combine um, total destruction with music. Um, as you can tell, I'm also back home, so that means I get to do, like, Transformer reviews and stuff, so today I'm going to do uh, War for Cybertron. Soundwave. Now, technically, I know this is a little outdated, and that Fall of Cybertron already has a figure that shoots uh, the discs, but, but uh, Soundwave is one of my favorite Transformers characters, and so I want to share him with you. Now, um, this version of Soundwave, he's kind of like a, a minivan almost, and he has these kind of like tusks that come up, and like this, this spike claw that can just, you know, stab into things. Um, and also, you know, he has like the classic tape recorder here on the on the front. You can, if you uh, open it up, you see what kind of looks like a, a little, like a little, almost like a cassette tape there. Um, so, let's transform him, shall we? You can start off by, um, you, well, you can actually start off in many ways. I like to split the leg apart first, makes it a little bit easier to pop the legs up like this. If you then fold the leg out, you can already see the feet and parts of the legs. Um, now, you just have to simply split this front piece apart. There we go. There we go. There we go. That has a little split there. That'll make it easier later on. All right. Um, now to get the arms to come out, you have to bring down the assembly with the legs, and then the arms are simple. You can just loosen them up a little bit by unhinging the arms, and bring these wheels to, this, to the back. Now simply unfold the arms. You can already see Soundwave's awesome head. Fully unfold the arms here. Rotate the, the shoulders up into the side. Now for these wheels. You're gonna wanna get these out of the way. You're just simply rotate these tusk things down. And now for the wheels, let me get this out of the way. You know, we have it like this, pop it back like that. There's a, um, a double hinge, so you can easily just pop it back. It's not completely done yet. We have to do the rest of the torso before we can pop it up. So just have them dangling to the side like this, and you should be good to go. Um, you know, just refix it, fix his... Uh, his uh, shoulders again, and uh, you can pop out his hands right now. That might help you get a little bit more leverage when you're um, moving him around later on. And uh, these little wings, you can fold in. Yeah. For the feet. The feet, it's easy. Just flip the, uh, the leg around. Flip the leg around. And you're almost done now. Simply unpeg the foot and bring the assembly down again. Here's their leg. Unpeg the foot and bring it down and flip the heel up. Again, flip heel up. And there actually should be a little bit of a peg right here. See, you can actually peg it into the, the back of the ankle. Um, if you aren't able to, that's fine. I know some models work a little bit differently, but you'll need to, oh my goodness, why hasn't that turned around yet? Oh, I know what I did wrong here. I goofed up. If you rotate the legs back around, sorry. I have the feet backwards, silly me. Um, oh, that's right, I'm facing him away from you. So technically for you, it was right. Just once you peg it in, turn the feet around, 
turn the feet around. Um, it doesn't really matter if the feet are plugged in or not. He stands a little bit better if both of his feet are plugged in. But if you pop in the uh, torso assemblage and you fold the teeth down, you should have this as your sound wave so far. Now simply just fold those, those teethed wheels back and rotate these wheel pieces down. Again, rotate down. And there you go. You have Decepticon third in command, Soundwave. Now, just to uh, give him a little bit of an upgrade, simply open up his uh, his chest compartment, and you can pop out these two little tube-like devices. Yeah, put that back in. You've got Soundwave's uh, shoulder cannon, and you have kind of a little tube thing, which you simply just tap, and out pops a pistol. You can put the pistol in any hand you want. I like giving and putting it in his left hand because I'm left-handed. And there's a little peg for his rock for his launcher up here on his shoulder. So considering I haven't transformed this in a couple months, I actually think I did a pr pretty good job. So here you go. Transformers, uh, War for Cybertron, Soundwave, and all his uh, mechanical glory. There you go. Uh, his feet looks a little wonky there. There we go. So, um, so yeah, Soundwave looks good, huh? So, and uh, if, so if you have a que any questions, or like you want me to go over something, or if there's a Transformer figure that I have, um, or if you want to see my collection, simply send me a message, and I'd love to get back to you and, uh, you know, share with you what I have. So, until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and thanks for watching.